In this video, we'll discuss ways on how to manage your time when procrastination comes into the picture. It will also show you how to manage your life in terms of being able to complete assignments on time and with the highest quality. The information that I'm going to share can serve as a helpful guide on what you can do to prevent procrastination. As you continue watching the video, it would be helpful to write down the tips and highlights which most apply to you. Before we begin, think about what kind of worker you are. Imagine that you are a writer, a researcher, or a professor. These professions will have various timelines for assignments and different levels of intensity as to how to complete them. Depending on the kind of worker you are, one tip might work better than the other. The first step to stopping procrastination is to realize that you are indeed performing this habit. This is about you being honest with yourself and realizing that you are waiting until the last minute to complete things. Some people will be able to see this quickly, others will take longer to do so. It doesn't matter when you realize you are procrastinating. What is important is for you to acknowledge that it's happening in your life. Now let's talk about the six signs of a procrastinator. The first sign that will prove that you are procrastinating is when you choose to work on low priority tasks instead of higher level assignments. The second sign is when you realize that you are spending the majority of the day reading emails several times over without ever starting work. This is where you have one email in front of your face and you read it five times over without ever starting the task that was stated in the email. The third sign is where you take on a high priority task and then go off to enjoy a cup of coffee. The fourth sign is when you leave an important item undone on your daily task list. You know that it is something that you must do, but still you never get to it. The next sign is when you realize that you are normally doing tasks that are not necessary throughout the day. This shows that you always decide to fill your time with things that are not important to your employer. You always think that your own relaxation is the main thing. The last sign that will make you the last sign that will make you realize that you might be procrastinating is when you always wait for the right time or the right feeling to do an assignment. This is where you will continually transfer your blame to the idea that you are not in the right mindset to do an assignment. So you will wait until you are ready. Sometimes people use this as an excuse not to do any work and push it back to the last minute. This is not about you feeling tired and therefore waiting to feel more awake to complete any assignments. Instead, this is about delaying a task that should be done in a day and instead branching it out to three or four days just because you are not in the right mood to do it. The next step to stopping procrastination is to understand why you are doing it in the first place. This part of the process is dependent on you and the task at hand. It is important to know that there are different elements in any situation and sometimes one is more relevant than the other. A reason why a person could be procrastinating is because of how he feels towards the job he has. If a person finds his job unpleasant, he will do everything he can to avoid going to work. Either that or while at work, he will simply not do anything because he's tired of being there. Jobs will always have many unpleasant aspects to them, and the best way of dealing with these aspects is simply to focus on a more enjoyable thing that is happening within that day. Switching your focus to more enjoyable thoughts or moments in life will help to relax the mind, therefore helping you to concentrate more on the job itself. This way, you will be able to get things done quickly and stop thinking about your unpleasant job. Another way to determine why you might be procrastinating is to realize that you could simply be disorganized. This is not to say that you are a messy person. This is more about how you work, how you prioritize things during the day, and how you schedule items to stay on track. It is all about how people only accomplish a part of a large assignment instead of getting three things done in one day, blaming the idea that it's a large assignment. 
People who are organized in their work or set a definite schedule get to avoid procrastination because they can break down the amount of work that they need to do in a specific period. They also understand that there is a possibility that their daily task list might increase. People might think that success is about completing every single assignment no matter how much needs to be done. It is not necessarily about completing everything in front of you. Sometimes it's simply about being able to push back on a couple of things to get the primary task done. It's also about looking at the whole situation and realizing that the more important things should be done first. In these kind of situations, perfectionists are usually the procrastinators. They will spend time looking over every detail of the assignment to ensure they meet the standards that their manager has laid out. The time spent double-checking and making sure that everything is working is actually wasted time. It could have been better spent working on another assignment. While this is a harsh way of looking at it, it's all about realizing that a person has the tendency to procrastinate because he is trying to get every small detail in, resulting in him not having any choices but to push back other assignments to accomplish a particular one. Perfectionists who continue to push back assignments will develop poor decision-making skills in the long run. They will get used to the fact that they can wait until the last minute to do everything. When this happens, they will not be able to decide which assignment should be done first. It will get to the point where there is no difference between an important and an unimportant task. Basically, these people will develop bad decision-making habits in which they will not be able to successfully decide upon what should be done in terms of completing work. The third step to realizing that you are procrastinating with your work is to learn more about anti-procrastination strategies. Later in this video, strategies on how to stop procrastination will be discussed. For now, the general tips that we have just mentioned have been set in place to keep you motivated and ensure that you continue working well. Since procrastination is truly just a habit, it's all about developing a better habit that can take over the other. The first thing to do to keep you motivated with your work is to come up with your own rewards for completing an assignment. For example, getting a bowl of your favorite snack while working can serve as a reward. Every time you finish working on a problem area, you can eat a part of the snack. This way, you'll be motivated to continue working forward just to have a taste of that small reward. The second thing you can do to make sure you stay motivated is to ask someone to check up on you. The support of this person making sure that you are all right and that you are on track will help to pressure you to continue working. It will motivate you to ensure that when he returns to see what you've been doing, you can show him that you've actually been working successfully. On the other hand, it's like having your boss walk in randomly and seeing that you have not accomplished anything. The third thing that can be done is to determine and carry out an unpleasant consequence for not doing the task. You can take away the rewards you have set for yourself or spend more time at the computer working instead of walking outside. Basically, instead of taking a break and relaxing in the middle of work to reward yourself for getting so much done, you'll sit there and continue working because you're punishing yourself for relaxing when you should have been working hard. The fourth thing that can be done is to work out the cost of the time you have utilized and think about how this cost will impact your employer's budget. This is where you'll see how much pay you will get if you complete the assignment on time versus submitting it late. It's about doing things which your manager has deemed important on time for you to get paid. If you are a person who procrastinates because you are disorganized, then the previously mentioned tips which aim to stop procrastination will not apply to you. Instead, the tips that follow might work for you since they will show you how to get organized. The first thing you can do is to write down a simple to-do list of daily tasks. This is to ensure that nothing is forgotten and that you complete everything no matter how unpleasant or overwhelming the tasks are. The second thing to do is to look at this list and arrange the tasks from the most important to the least. Doing the things that are most important first will produce the best outcome for the day. Once this task is done, you should remember that the other things still need to be done, but they are not as important. 
The third thing to do is to become better at scheduling and project planning. This way, you will know exactly when to start your projects and tasks. The next thing you can do is set a certain amount of time for each item on the list. You should be able to make an estimate as to the amount of time you will need to complete a task on the list. For example, cleaning a kitchen might only take an hour while completing an entire website might take five hours. Ensuring that you can work within the allocated time and working close to it will help you stay on schedule. The most important thing to do is to focus on one task at a time. If a task becomes too overwhelming or if you are seeing too much on the list, try to break things down into smaller sections. This will help you to create a better plan which will allow you to continue working and rewarding yourself instead of just stopping altogether for the rest of the day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.